Hello, my name is Eric Olson, Executive Director of HELPS Nonprofit Law Firm. This video is entitled Guilt and Debt. I've been an attorney now for over 40 years. I'm the Executive Director of HELPS. What HELPS does is represent seniors and disabled persons who owe debt they can't afford to pay in order to stop collector harassment. Under federal law, when a person is represented by an attorney, collectors may no longer call or communicate with that person by phone or mail. And so what HELPS does is we represent people in all 50 states uh, in order to stop collector harassment. And the most common thing we hear is that HELPS brought peace back to my life. We also hear from clients often that they feel guilty that they're not able to pay their old debt. Uh, it's very common. And uh, I want to address that in this brief video. When you incur a debt for a credit card, for example, it's always anticipated and part of the contract that you would pay a payment plus interest. And there's also a statement of what happens if you default or can't make the payment. So whenever you incur a debt uh, for a purchase or a service, uh, there's always either a written or implied provision of what happens if you default. Uh, the reason you're charged interest on a debt is because they know that a certain percentage of the debt that they extend to people or credit they provide is not going to be paid for whatever reason. So that is the reason they have an interest in the interest rate they charge. They have persons that mathematically calculate uh, based on statistics what percentage of persons aren't going to be able to pay a debt. And that's put into a formula to determine what the interest rate they charge so they can still make a profit. So if you're unable to pay your debt, um, it's not a crime and th the person that you owe the money to knew long before that, that you weren't going to be able to pay that debt. Maybe not you specifically, but someone wasn't going to be able to pay that debt. And it was provided for in the contract. Now, seniors I talk to never intentionally go into debt with the idea they're not going to be able to pay it. It's just life. It, things just happen. And they become unable, to, it, it's just difficult for them to pay the debt. They just cannot do it. Um, no matter how much we want. Uh, for example, if you wanted to run a, a marathon, 26.2 miles tomorrow, uh, no matter how bad you wanted to do it, uh, there's certain things we just can, cannot physically do. And that is often the case with being able to pay back old debt. We just simply cannot do it. Um, and so you shouldn't feel bad about not being able to do things that you can't do, um, that's impossible for you to do. Um, you need to understand that there's laws that protect your income, Social Security, pension, disability, VA benefits, even a certain amount of minimum amount of wages protected by, by federal law and different state laws. Now, why do laws protect seniors' income like Social Security and pensions? Because um, our lawmakers understand that, that seniors have limited amounts of income and that that income that they do have is necessary to take care of their basic needs. And our lawmakers don't want seniors to go without their basic needs. They don't want them to go without food or medicine uh, or utilities or heat or any other needs that they, basic needs that they have. And therefore, these laws were put in effect to protect this income from being taken to them for old debt that they're unable to pay. Now, there's a history of this. Uh, it all started back in the Old Testament with Moses uh, protecting certain assets of people. And uh, when America was founded, laws were passed uh, to prevent, so that there wouldn't be any debtor's prisons, that people wouldn't have to go to jail like they did in England and in Europe, um, that you know we didn't want that in this country. So there, there's laws that protect your income, and there's a reason for that. Now, I realize that um, even knowing all that, there's feelings of guilt and being un unable to pay the debt. But like I said, you know, some things we're just not able to do. Uh, there's lots of, you know, scripture, Judeo-Christian scriptures in the Old Testament that talk about debt forgiveness and about the plight of the poor. 
Uh, you need to understand that uh, um, and not try not to feel guilty over this. Um, you didn't do it and you're not able, you didn't incur the debt intentionally with the intent that you wouldn't pay it. Uh, it's just life happened. Um, and eventually, I find that, that seniors will, will feel better about it. They'll get an understanding and, and come up, come with a degree of peace and realize that um, you know they're not in control of every, all their situations, that some things we're just not control, the control of. And uh, they can maybe de obtain a degree of thankfulness uh, for the laws that do protect our income and do other things like what HELPS does is what we do is um, under the law, if you have an attorney that represents you, collectors have to leave you alone. They can't send you letters in the morning or call you on the phone. And that's what we do. That's what we do. We don't uh, turn anyone, HELPS doesn't turn anyone away that needs our help. Um, we'll represent any senior or disabled person that, that owes debt they can't afford to pay in order to stop collectors from harassing them. We've got a really good article on guilt and debt in our website that's been published in, in at least one newspaper and probably others also. Uh, it's w w at www.helpsishere.org. Um, um, there's an article. You can search for that article. Um, and also you can listen to other videos uh, on our YouTube channel that talk about uh, how to deal with specific debt problems. Um, but if you are a HELPS client or um, you are concerned about this, we always tell our clients that they can call us at any time to talk about this. We would rather people uh, call us than to think that they're at home worried or stressed or, or upset uh, when they don't need to be. Okay? So I um, hope this has been helpful and uh, you have a good day.